educators who transform lives forever. We are explorers, bound by our shared passion for adventure and discovery of the underwater world. We are a community dedicated to being best in and for the world. We are leaders who open hearts and minds to the hidden beauty of nature's creation and our obligation to protect it. How's everybody doing tonight? Yeah. Woohoo! Happy Halloween! We promise lots of treats, no tricks. We've got some cool messages to walk through with you, and um, just ask for a few minutes of your time, then we're going to reopen the bar. So that's your reward. That's your, that's your treat. But we want to give you an update on, on what we're doing with your organization and, and this brand and, and our experience, and looking at the planet through your eyes and what we have to do going forward. So we've got some cool things to share with you. So let's just start with, last year, the Patty community and family around the planet certified the, issued the 25th millionth certification under this brand, which is, it's awesome, no question. 25 million souls. When my father was born in 1913, there were 1.5 billion people on this planet. When he had me, there were 2.5 billion, and since then, there are now 7.6 billion. So that's threefold just in my lifetime. Planet's growing and it's swelling. And so that creates a whole bunch of, of interest in escapism and exploration and adventure, but also puts pressure and sort of amplifies the issues that the planet feels. And we have a really unique opportunity under your good efforts, your good energy, to put a dent in that as this force for good. And I just want to walk through some of that stuff. And I think, I think you're going to identify with a lot. We're going to put some folks up on the screens that you know that are here in the room as well. Some of your brothers and sisters across the planet. So if I were just to say and ask anybody, and we took out a little piece of paper and quiz, like, what do we do? The first thing would be like, well, well we teach diving. We, we, we teach diving. And of course, that's true. However, if I were just to put another thought in there and say, like, why? Why do we teach diving? Now we get into this whole mission of what we're all about as a community across the planet. And if you think about the why, you start to dig into the soul. The soul of what, what drives you, what drives us, and collectively what we can and are, are doing. And that gets into mission. So the reason we teach diving is to bring millions of new people into the underwater space to have a look, have a peek. That could be free diving, that could be snorkeling, that could be scuba diving, that could be tech diving. Have a peek, have a look. 70% of the planet, most of the folks on the planet of that 7.6 billion haven't. They have a clue, it just looks like water surface. So if they have a peek and you teach them, as you do, to be comfortable and to be confident, then good things happen. Once they're comfortable and confident, we can do a whole bunch of stuff. So if we bring these millions in, teach them to be comfortable and confident, they become competent, we can then enable and encourage their exploration and their interest in adventure. Now, part of that solution is technology. Some of the things we're developing, we'll talk about briefly tonight and at the show, we'll talk more de in depth about, like My Patty Club, to enable that, to enable that interest and channel it back to you guys to deliver it. But when that happens, it starts to become a fabric of their life. And once it becomes a pattern or a fabric, they stay in the space a little bit more, and then they start to make a choice like everybody here has made. All of us have made. And that gets into the pay it forward side. What do we want to do with our lives, the breaths we take, the heartbeats we share on this planet to pay it forward as an expression? So under this brand, we look at paying it forward as about 
caring somehow. You might want to share that gift of teaching others, training instructors, training dive masters. That might be part of it. Or you may want to look after taking care of the ocean, this silent partner of ours that has taken care of all of us and still provides the oxygen on the planet and the energy and food sources and so on. And so when we teach divers about the ocean, as it's baked into all of the curriculum that we offer under the PADI banner, we start to look at ourselves in a whole different way. And that mission about bringing millions more is much different than just bringing people into, Patty wants a bunch of certifications. It starts to talk about becoming a force for good to speak about the issues that we face, enabling that exploration under this banner. And that's where we're joined across 183 countries. That's powerful stuff. And that epiphany, if you will, has started to come to us the last few years just in the 50th anniversary, thinking about what do we do on the shoulders of giants? How do we pay it forward in a new and different way with all the good deeds and services that are happening in this room? So we assemble here tonight in this theater of the round to share a few anecdotes, a few stories, and maybe just connect with your hearts and minds before we start the show to go out there and absorb the show and all the good things that are out there and then go back to your part of the world and pay it forward for the long run. So that's why we're here. So we are Patty. We are Patty. We're a Patty family. We're Patty family strong across the planet of 133,000 professionals, 6,400 center, dive centers and resorts that are starting to look at something that's bigger than all of us, this brand experience. It's going to live on beyond all of us. And for many people in this room, it started before us. Not me, that'd be lying. However, um, many of the people that have joined the Patty family in the, in, of late, it, it started before us. So there's a legacy and a responsibility but maybe more importantly, an opportunity to go forward with this mission to create a global community of confident divers who become champions of this water planet. So over 50 years, we sit here with a cocktail in hand and a bar waiting for us when, when, when we're done here in a few minutes. Oh, finally, I see. Well, it is the dive industry for crying out loud. Let's give a woo to the bar. Yeah, that's, that sounds good, sounds good. Sounds good. But it's, we're an enabler of this exploration of inner space. And how cool is that? Inner space, 75% of this planet. If you want to go to outer space, that's kind of tough. You've got to be selected, small group of people, or you've got to be a kajillionaire to be enabled to go to space travel. But we can offer exploration in inner space. So we together, on that legacy, have this opportunity before us. And as we continue to grow, we will stand for this deeper purpose that it's become part of this mission. And I think that's something to really be proud of in your deeds and actions out there on a local level. And I hope you agree with that. So let's start with our core. I think you'd agree that all of us are explorers. We love going diving. We love what are we going to see, even if it's been a place we've been to a million times. There might be somebody dropped a, a spanner wrench there. Ooh, look at that. Tell me I'm lying. You know that's a fact. You know that's a fact. You know that's a fact. Or it could be a whale shark rocks in and you, you never saw in that spot. It could be, could be something cool, small, cool, big. So that's the exploration bit. And we have, we, we have the ability to offer this inner space experience to the planet, and we're doing it. And so I would say humankind in, in our history has always been driven by this need for ex exploration. The heroic age of Antarctic exploration, brave people getting on ships, going away for years, pushing the edge, going to the top of mountains, K2, Everest, just pushing out there. That's the human experience. We're, we're pushing into space now. Push the boundaries of our world. And you share this passion every day under our brand, every single day, enabling others to fulfill their desire to explore, which is in our DNA as humankind, even if it's the most pedestrian, urbanite on the planet with their little accountant hat and their satchel, no offense to the accountants, see here, including CFO Patty Chad, you're out there somewhere, so please don't take personal offense, but to enable that desire inside to like be, be something different, do something differently, like feel life in this urbanized world and, and this desire to explore. So as explorers, the intangible desire to explore it's compelling us to continue to push boundaries. And when I talk about the pillars here in a second, we're pushing boundaries. You folks are pushing boundaries in really cool ways. So you're taking a legacy of the 
history of humankind, it's been around for centuries, and you, as the expression of that under this brand, you're doing cool things that the planet needs. So it's part of this human condition. It's unique to our sport of this underwater exploration. Being able to answer the inherent desire to discover new worlds, it puts Patty, and when I say Patty, I'm talking about you, in a very unique place. So we teach the world to dive for sure, but we enable them to explore for a lifetime. And we're driven by a mission, which is the soul of our existence. We have a passion lifestyle brand here, and it took 50 years to build it, and, and you're part of it. Really important. So you think about it. I just want to take pause for two seconds just to kind of remind all of us about diving that is unique and monumentally, supremely special. I don't know how many of you watch the BBC, but I'm sure most of you have seen Planet Ocean, Life on an Ocean Planet. You've seen Sir David Attenborough's work. This guy's 91 years old. He has seen and done, you would think, presumably everything on the planet. The encounters with nature, environment, his commentary is brilliant. And so when he was asked to say, look, you've seen and done everything in your life and your career. Can you tell us what was the best, the most unforgettable? And what he said is up there on that screen. He said he can, he can talk about a lot of stuff. But the most unforgettable thing in his life experience was revelatory. It was the three minutes that he spent, the first three minutes they put scuba gear on and dived on a coral reef. And you can see, he said, it's unbelievable that you're, you can move in three dimensions. That's what you do every, every day. That's who you invite in. Pinch yourself right now. Pinch your neighbor right now. <laughs> Hang on a second. <laughs> Hang on a second. That was a little awkward. OK, I see where this is going. <laughs> you know what's cool about this family? Nobody's fussing. That's fantastic. He just got pinched. It's like, OK, I kind of like that. That's cool. OK, that's the dive biz, too. But anyways, I digress. This guy's one of my heroes. And I just, when I, when I saw that quote, I just thought, holy cow. I mean, how lucky we are to be in a space to, to invite that and in that space and offer it up to others across the planet going forward. So from that point of view, there's a the view there's a leadership in this room and in our brothers and sisters across the planet. We are leaders. We represent a very powerful driving force in this diving industry. You represent that. When you go across this floor the next few days, you're part of this, this passion-driven lifestyle brand experience known as Patty. And as leaders, along with that comes a responsibility to do the right thing, to be responsible and to, to drive change where it makes sense. And we take that very seriously, and you start to see that in our campaigns, that we fully embrace it. We fully embrace this collective opportunity to represent the change that we want in our world. And we know you do, because we're going to show a few examples of that, just a few out of the thousands of examples of people in this room and people across the planet. So from that point of view, we look at ourselves as wanting to be the best in and the best for the world. And, and that means the world around us is it's constantly changing, for sure. And we have to change as well, and we have been. And you guys have been great keeping up with change. It's not been easy with the technological innovations coming in and trying to say, how do we adapt that and recruit new people? But you're doing it. Our median age for new divers under your direction is 29 years old. That's the biggest demographic bucket. You're training across the planet. That is cool. That's exactly where we should be. You're doing it. You're doing it. And we go across every demographic as well. So as we celebrated the 50th years of, the, of Patty on this planet last year, we saw a clear opportunity at that point in time to look at this mission to be a force for good, a force for good in the world. And we introduced the four pillars, which you, you might remember last year's social. Well, I'm going to give you a few examples of the hundreds of examples in each pillar that have happened since then. So being the best in and being the best for the world sort of creates a legacy. The legacy is a responsibility, and it's also an opportunity. And that's the legacy to uphold as we look into the future and make certain that this torch 
that logo that came in with the, the diver torch, which is symbiotic of passing it forward, paying it forward, is completed in the generations to come. That's your opportunity. So as we pay it forward in fulfilling this mission that I just articulated about the why, the soul of the company, we have the opportunity to do that in a new and powerful way that the world has a huge appetite for and, dare I say, has a tremendous need for. And I would say to boil that down as a community and maybe editorialize a little bit, we have a responsibility to be good ancestors. We came here on the backs of giants. Some folks in this room are giants. I was chatting with a few of them just before I jumped up here. Many of you have been around for decades. But think about what I just said and just sort of think about it for yourself. We have a responsibility. You have an opportunity to be a good ancestor. Doesn't mean that ancestor in a terminal sense, ancestor in a perpetual sense, if you catch that. And that's a cool thing. What do we want to be viewed at as 100 years forward, 50 years forward, collectively? There's power in that. There's opportunity in that, cross-culturally, cross-language, across this planet, because of what's happened, because of your support of what's happening, your deeds. So this whole best in and for the world concept is important. And so to help ensure that we, we have this future lit on that concept, we must teach divers to be ambassadors for the water planet to be ambassadors in their communities, in their, in their homes, in their villages, wherever they have influence. And we need to nurture future leaders along at the same time. When you get to where you're going, turn around and help the next guy sort of thing. I think that's a Tim McGraw lyric, by the way, those of you that are country fans. I know Mark Spires is a country fan out here from, from EMEA. But you know the lyric if you like country music. There's one in there about, I think that's a humble and kind song. Turn around and help the next folks. Well, that's kind of what you're doing right now with divers and with dive leadership and your staff and as the infrastructure of this community. Drive change. Divers are the doers. And we're the doers and our, our, the people that subscribe to us are the doers because it's emotional. We have an emotional connection with the aquatic realm. Would you agree with that? Absolutely. Well, give it up for the, the, the ocean then. Let's hear it. It means something to us, for sure, and it needs our help. And that precursor video sort of teasing that thought as well. So you got the four pillars up there that we introduced a year ago. Healing and wellness, ocean health, people and community, and marine animal protection. I'm going to give you just a couple anecdotal updates as we walk through this in the next couple minutes. So the concept of being the best in and the best for the world is part of this mission that Patty has launched. And these pillars of change, these four pillars that you see up there on the screen, are the core of the PADI organization social responsibility program that are going to go on and on and on for the decades to come. We intend to be a leader in critical conversations, conversations that affect all of us as divers, affect the ocean planet, for sure, and the people that depend on the planet and the coast for their survival, for their livelihoods. We aim in doing that, to be part of a global solution for a healthier ocean. By connecting divers, by connecting the Patty family of members with issues that we all care about, or maybe some of us care about one of, or all four of those pillars, or an issue within one of those pillars. It doesn't matter, but enabling that care to be part of a solution for a better tomorrow as this all connects. That's a whole heck of a lot different than what we do. That's the why of what we do it, and I would dare say that's the opportunity that we have before us. It's a sense of greatness here that we finally have earned. That's, it just blows me away to think about that. Very few activities, very few brands have this sort of international collectivist potential built in, lifestyle passion built in. There are a few out there. And those are the brands that people tattoo on their bodies. And I bet you, and I'm not going to really have, have you show me, there's some of y'all out here that have Patty tattooed somewhere that I really don't care to see, but I know it's out there. Because <laughs> some of you 
in my life have shown me. <laughs> okay, maybe we had a couple beers together. I don't know, but anyway. So we are a force for good. So let's talk about that. And I'm really proud to say, with our Partners for Conservation for 25 years, Patty and Project Aware Foundation are going to work closer than ever together to make greater strides in ocean health and marine animal protection. A lot of you have lived and breathed the deeds of Project Aware in your local communities. We've got a cool staff, got a whole bunch of new blood in there. And we're looking at greater strides in at least two of those four pillars, ocean health, obviously, and marine animal protection. So we're working together towards a couple things, cleaner and healthier oceans, which is definitely an issue there. I mean, I was walking on the North Shore of Cayman Island not too long ago, and I remember being a kid walking on the East Coast. It used to be romantic to walk the beach. You'd find a piece of beach glass, or you'd find some, a piece of driftwood. All you see is plastic now. Has anybody been in that experience? It's amazing, actually. I mean, I used to make little lamps and stuff out of beech wood and stuff I would just collect. Now, I, I mean, plastic's such a good product from a standpoint of storage and whatever that it's just one use throw away. And where does it end up? It ends up in the food web. That's a serious issue. So marine debris is a big deal, but there's a lot of other issues too. But a lot of people don't know. Well, you know. You live in it. You swim through it. We swim through it. We swim through it. We see it. So combating marine debris is a big thing, but protecting sharks and rays has been a big thing too. There's a lot of other critters that need protection too, but sharks and ray work has been profound. We've, we've worked together to get things put on CITES red list, which just means monitor these things. What's sustainable for take, rather than just take everything? And we're proud of that. So we do not live in an ideal world, but this is the world we live in. We live in this one. So it's our time. What do we want to do with, with this life to that end to help people, have them care about it, and maybe help the planet and the ocean, which gives us life, a second chance? So that ties into something that goes deep to my core in a bucket I call future hope. And tucked away, I've got an old saloon sign that says future hope. It's from a, an old Western cowboy saloon. And it's just the, like the people that were doing the gold rush ended up a lot of them didn't ever make it to the West Coast. And it, you could just feel future hope, that anticipation of something greater than themselves. But hope to me, and I'm, I'm sensing hope to you, is the anchor to the soul of being a human being. Because it's easy not to have hope. It's easy to, to give up. But you know what? If we do that, then we're right. So the anchor to the soul, the anchor to trying to make a difference, and resonate and connect is an opportunity we have. Who ever thought that teaching scuba diving would have such a profound and magnified potential interest across this planet to do something cool? Again, good ancestry. That's our opportunity. So while our ocean and seas are being threatened by a lot of stuff, human activities, again, my dad's generation, 1.5 billion. My life, 2.5. Our life. 7.6 and increasing human activities with plastic pollution and overfishing and, and warming and acidification. There are issues for sure. But it's not too late because we can talk about it. We can reverse some of these, the damage that's, that's been done by humankind unintentionally, mostly just from pressure of expansion. If we act and work together to conserve and protect marine resources, and, and the habitats. When you look at coral, it's not too late for coral. Coral's stressed in a lot of places. Hands up if some of you come from a place where coral's being stressed. Let me see, hands up please. Just hand, hold them up for a second. You see it. It's not too late. It's not too late. It's too late if we say, oh, it's too late. Then it's too late. You're right, we, we lose. We are the eyes and the ears and emotionally connected. So, but there's not a whole lot of time to muck around. So, Let's talk about the pillars. Ocean health. I mentioned the four, ocean health being one of them. Through the implementation of global programs that drive growth for PADI members while maintaining social and environmental responsibility, PADI's committed to being this catalyst for change. You saw it in that video. And we're doing a couple cool things. I just want to give you a sneak peek. So to support ocean health and marine protection and those initiatives, 
We've solidified some relationships. Of note are two major ones, <clears throat> and they're, they're really change makers. The first one, we forged an alliance with Mission Blue. Mission Blue is a goal to protect the world's ocean by actively promoting hope spots. Hope spots. Dr. Sylvia Earle founded Mission Blue. She was on the front cover of Time recently. How many people saw that? Okay, she's a rock star. Hope spots are precursors to marine protected areas, just little set aside places. Your favorite reefs, perhaps, could become hope spots. Places for you, emotionally connected to that reef, to think about, let's just give it a little room to breathe and, and just think about how do we sustain the pressures on this reef. <clears throat> They're critical for restoring productivity in the oceans and of the oceans, and also they help to avoid further degradation. Hope spots are important. There are also places that can be studied scientifically. So they generate income for tourism. Uh, you, you all know you want to go somewhere. If I told you there was an aggregation of bull sharks somewhere, right here, right now, you'd want to go dive with them, wouldn't you? Who wouldn't? Hands up if you don't want to go dive with, with 15 bull sharks right now. OK, point made. What's that in the back of the room? Somebody's raising their hand high. OK, non-diver. That's fine. I understand that. We all understand that. But if we work together, <clears throat> the opportunity is that we can enlist divers. Millions more are coming in, I hope, over the years to come to protect new and future hope spots. And that just might, just might give the ocean a little help from, from people who love it, you. So second one, second one in this pillar. We are also working with Project to Wear. OK. And <laughs> Okay, let's, let's cut off Project to Wear. I mean, let's uh, get away from the bar, Project to Wear. But anyway, we've, we've joined the Global Ghost Gear Initiative. Some of you know what that's about. And that whole idea there is to create solutions to combat the problems that we see with discarded fishing nets and marine entanglement. How many people here have seen a marine animal entangled in their career? Hands up, please. Hands up, hands up, hands up. A plastic, a, a net wrapped around them. I know some of you, I showed a video a year or two ago of a few of you doing some really cool things. Keller in Hawaii with the dolphin that presented and just wanted to be cut free. Remember that? It moves you, for sure. But it is an issue. Stuff's floating around out there, lots of it. It's discarded. It's ghost because it's not being fished. It's just drifting. It's still catching. It's still killing. So it's the first global alliance <clears throat> working to solve this worldwide problem of lost and abandoned fishing gear, stuff that gets snags up and goes and still hunts, but it doesn't, doesn't yield anything that's utilized. It's sad. So it was founded in 2015. If you think about it as triple GI, instead of spelling it out, it's easy to remember. It aims to reduce a couple things, the volume of ghost gear that's out there, the removal and recycling of that matter as well, which is cool, and the rescue of entangled animals. Let me ask you this. How many of you have ever rescued an entangled marine animal? Hands up. Are you, hands up. Hands up. Cool. All right, applause for you all. There it is. I can tell you a lot of people would love to be by your side to do that. So together with Triple GI, this Patty community of divers can magnify the efforts by looking for and reporting harmful ghost gear and that it's entangling and, and, and taking and killing marine life by really hundreds of thousands. And we're talking about whales, we're talking about seals, we're talking about turtles, we're talking about birds, we're talking about stuff we love. And nobody benefits from that, nobody. So that's something we've partnered up as well in that pillar. Do you like that? Does that make sense? Are you proud of the brand for that? All right. OK, thank you for that. Let's go to another pillar, people and community. Now that's the planet. So what do we want to talk about for people and community? We're providing more educational opportunities for people around the world to become PADI professionals so they can teach the world to safely explore the underwater planet. A lot of you do that. I know a lot of you do that in your countries. Some of you travel to do that. We work really hard to develop nationals in countries across the planet so they can come up and find careers to invite tourism and tra train locals to bake in some of these things that are near and dear to us. The PADI network can 
really help foster prosperity and growth and a sustainable mindset in global dive communities. And we're doing it now. We're doing it in world emerging economies that are traveling like we've never seen before. India, China, Korea. It's baked into what you teach, what your brothers and sisters are teaching divers, receiving those divers and in those countries now. That's really amazing, actually. That's scuba training under the Patty Branner, banner, and that's impressive. So also under people and communities, we have many of you, many Patty professionals, transforming communities every day by teaching people to dive and implement sustainability, this mindset of sustainability. And that's really critical when you think about thinking about sustainability. <clears throat> and that's critical to survival in many areas of the world. So we've got an ambassador diver program. These are human beings, many of them here in the room, who we're trying to get the stories out, that have done cool things, continue to do cool things. Perhaps it could be many of you to be heralded. We have strong social media, the most powerful social media in the dive industry out there. We want to get those stories out. So you've got people like Jack Fishman, people like Ernst Vanderpoel. Give it up for them, yeah. Edgardo Ochoa. Andre Miller. There are, there are hundreds, but these are folks that are done the business and we're pushing it out there and they're making impact at a local level. We can all learn and adopt from what their efforts are across the world and implement that locally. It doesn't matter where you live, what you do, you have that opportunity as well. So if you think about Patty course director Ernst Vanderpoel, he brought his nonprofit company, it's Connect Ocean, <clears throat> to Costa Rica. So he went to Costa Rica, he's building relationships now, educating local communities in the schools about environmental conservation and sustainability, using diving as a modality. So this, this NGO of his, Connect Ocean, is currently working on a project to do a really cool thing, restore damaged reefs and fish habitats by having the local students design and build their own artificial reefs. They live there, that's their country. They care about it, they feel, they see the need, they see the opportunity, and the aim there is to create a population going forward as a good ancestor who can live side by side with nature and look after it. That's the world we live in. Ideal? I don't know. Real? Heck yeah. Impactful? Absolutely. Absolutely. So that's one story we bring to you tonight that we're proud of. Another story on a people community on this pillar. Look at Syed Rahman. He's a Patty IDC staff instructor. He's a five star and founder of a center called Kids Scuba Malaysia. So what he's been doing since 2004 is educating youngsters age eight through teens about scuba diving in the marine environment. And he's seen what family diving, diving as a family in Malaysia can do to broaden a lot of things like knowledge and respect for the ocean. He's got a really cool program. There's other people here doing really cool programs as well in this same space, so important in terms of paying it forward for the future. And he's educating this younger generation and their family structures, as well as transcending into a deeper understanding of what marine conservation and marine environment is all about under the diving, the Patty Diving brand. Really a prideful thing, very cool. You should take pride in these anecdotes as well. These are your brothers and sisters. We wanna tell your story too. Those of you sitting here as well, that's the whole point, to tell the world, invite them in. Let's look at a different pillar now. Healing and wellness. Healing and wellness is profound. When I first started diving, I had no idea that diving would ever offer anything it does in this space. And I would say many of us didn't. But a lot of us now, everybody in the room feels this, sees it. Many of you live it every day. So in healing and wellness, let's talk just a bit about that. Through this diver journey, many people have found hope for their futures in this pillar. Patty aims to help a lot of people, to help others find a similar personal transformation and healing both mentally and physically, offering diving as a therapeutic modality in the healing and wellness bucket. We do that through a lot of things. We formalize an adaptive techniques dive course, and many of you offer that, but many of you who are interested, we've now formalized that. We'll have some information here at the show. We're providing more access to information on how to do it properly. 
and we're putting out stories of triumph, of things that have worked, that have helped human beings. Triumph over adversity, tri triumph over barriers to testify to diving's healing power. That is just simply staggeringly, supremely amazing. That's, that's what you can do. It's what you do. That's what this brand does. So when we shout out a few names, and there are so many others, we shout out names like Cody Unzer, like Leo Morales, like organizations like Depth Therapy or Force Blue or Patriots for Disabled Divers. Or, good, thank you. Cody Unzer First Step Foundation, Waves, Ocean Enterprises Foundation. There's so many, so many of you are, are trying to find relevance in the space and pay it forward. It's amazing. And you're making diving more accessible, you're making it more tangible for more people every day, and in doing so, transforming lives and making the impossible, quote unquote, possible. What do you think about healing and wellness? Is that amazing? That's amazing, very human. So when you think about deeper purpose and mission, you think about the work that you all do, you think about it's an everyday thing, it's about people, it's about transforming lives, and it's about ability, not disability. And so as an organization, we're so proud of what you're doing and we want to push that forward as really one of our biggest triumphs. We think that's meaningful. That's a little different about what we do. That's a heck of a lot about why we're doing it. So if I could beg your indulgence for just a short video, I want to share some of those stories with you. And I'll ask Don to, to roll the video here, just a few minutes of your time, so please. I broke my back when I was 17 years old. I was backcountry snowboarding when I over-rotated a backflip and landed on a rock that was underneath the snow. I haven't always been in a wheelchair but I became paralyzed when I was 12 years old due to an autoimmune condition called transverse myelitis. A large tiger shark came from underneath me, grabbed onto my legs, and started swaying me back and forth. I was born with cerebral palsy. I was diagnosed with a very weird cancer. I got down under the water and it opened up this whole new world for me under the ocean. And for me, that's a totally different experience. It's, it's such a sense of freedom for me. Um, it gives me the opportunity to get out of my wheelchair, which, you know, wheelchair basketball and alpine skiing, I'm always connected to this piece of equipment. Scuba for me is empowerment and life definitely, life definitely unleashed with there being no limitations. It's, it's very empowering. Scuba diving is an amazing sport, it's an amazing activity, but the most important thing is you realize that under the water you don't have any limitations, you don't have any disability, you are able to fly. You know, being a first-time scuba diver, it didn't take long for me after I was underwater just to forget that I was disabled. I'm just in the water like anyone else and I might be swimming with my arms instead of my feet but for one of the first times in my life I didn't feel so different which is a great feeling. It's amazing to look around and not feel like you are this totally different isolated person. I, I fit right in under there. You know for once I'm like everybody else and that feeling you know no one can take away from you and that's what I strive for and what I love about the sport in general is that being able to just be out of the chair is, is a remarkable feeling. My proudest moment was when I actually um, received my PADI card. It was just the thing that I could show people that said, you know, I, I succeeded at this, I conquered this, and even though it was hard, it paid off in the end. I think having the, um, the PADI Adaptive Scuba program, it'll actually help get people with disabilities through the door. When we talk about adaptive scuba, it's not that the person with the disability is adapting to the sport, it's the sport that adapts to the person and their body composition or their needs or their abilities, as well as the instructor. They say adaptive scuba, but it's not really, I mean, I had to learn everything else that everybody else has to learn in order to safely execute a dive and have a fun and safe time under the water so there's just different ways of doing little things like that but the skills are exactly the same there's nothing changed in the curriculum 
When I was able to work with somebody with prior experience to adaptive scuba, it took all the guesswork out of whether or not I was going to be taken care of. And for me, that brought a sense of confidence going into the experience. And also, you know, I just knew that they were going to adapt and overcome whatever challenge got thrown at us. I try to count my blessings every day, and in doing so, knowing that I have these um, uh, abilities that I need to share that with people who, who may not have the same abilities. And so that's where the adaptive instruction comes in, where we take our time, we get to know our students, and then um, it provides us with that opportunity or a vehicle to um, adapt uh, the equipment for them to be able to achieve their goal of becoming a paddy scuba diver. The adaptive program is really just going to educate everybody in terms of different challenges that people with disabilities have and then it doesn't have to be such a big part of the experience. They just understand it and then they can focus on scuba. Sometimes people asking me if I had the chance to go back to my older life, I will, and I say no way. The most important thing is do what you like to do and have some passion and this is scuba diving for me. It's passion, it's pure passion. It's the place that I can find myself in the best place that I can be on earth. The ocean gave him my life back. It's amazing. I mean, you got to bless those people, bless their accomplishments, and, and what brings them together. It's amazing. It's amazing. And a lot of times you hear these stories, and if you, if you dig deeper and you, you go on to patty.com and listen to the full stories, many of those folks would say, in looking back, they wouldn't have changed a thing. Wouldn't have changed a thing. It was that profound. So what is this? that we have in our laps here, that, that we have to offer the world, that we want to connect together. It's powerful. It's bigger than all of us. It's bigger than we, any of us anticipated. And it's sitting here as the op opportunity for this organization. So let me move forward. Those are the four pillars. And then quickly wrap into some, just a few things about peeking forward, about being the, the best in the world. We all know that to be the best, you, you have to create a solid infrastructure that allows you to meet the needs of divers around the world. And with that said, we have to continue to be innovative and innovate things in order to enable exploration. We know that. So when we think about best in the world, we think about best in and best for the world. And, and these ideals manifest themselves in new products and technology as well as enablers. When I said before, as I started about enabling exploration and adventure, part of that's a technological solution. Not entirely, but part of it is for sure. And paving that way for the future, for this next generation of divers, we need to come up with tools to help instructors, yourselves, transform the world. And in doing that, we're optimizing this whole PADI digital experience space. We're optimizing it. So it feels good, it works good, and it enables what you're doing. So the next generation of the PADI digital education program will offer best-in-class user experience. So we're looking at three things. Revitalizing, we're looking at globalizing, and we're looking at streamlining. And we're investing deeply in these spaces in terms of a product and technology move. So firstly, let's look at optimization in terms of revitalizing. We're revitalizing the product line, the online and offline learning experiences, so they'll be optimized, meaning they'll provide a single touch point. So it'll be elegant, it'll be intuitive user experience. That user journey, no matter what device, across all devices, will be elegant and intuitive. It needs to be there. That's what you expect in your life, and that should be no less than what we empower you to offer the planet. And we're globalizing at the same time we do that. So when we think about that, we're offering a consistent and re readily accessible best-in-class digital learning experience for all PADI core courses, inc increasing the availability and accessibility to no less than 25 languages across all devices. That's a big investment. It's a big lift, and we're, we're right in the middle of it. And it's starting to roll out, and we're talking a lot about it here at the show. It's going to help you, and, and I think you're going to be proud of it. And as we do that, we're streamlining. One of our third pillars that we've spoken about up here before in the past is improving efficiency and effectiveness. And in streamlining, we want that user, your client, to have a seamless end-to-end -end consumer journey. 
And that means from purchase path through product completion. It has to be seamless. So right now, as we speak, we're optimizing our systems for long-term success. And that includes digital paperwork for all students. I'm sad to say that the days of physical paperwork will soon be behind us. How many people are going to miss that? Every time I go diving with one of you all, I realize, holy cow, who comes up with this stuff? I've got to sign 75,000 times to go in the water. But we're going we're to make that streamline intuitive using digital signatures in the palm of people's hands. Does this sound good? Cool. Does anybody here love to do paperwork? OK, that's fine. Some do. Anyway, that's cool. So we also want to make Patty products more accessible to everyone. So that means taking a page out of the, the playbook of best companies on the planet, they always strive to be better. We're trying to do the same thing. We're taking steps to get it right as we strive to get better, <clears throat> not just to be better, but we want to be the best. That's what you deserve, no less than that. That's Patty pride. That's brand power. And so we've always been first to market. When you think about the history of this company, lots of different stuff, RDP, all kinds of things, lots and lots of firsts. But we've got to continue to dedicate resources to being best in class. So you're going to see some really cool stuff, really cool stuff. We're developing products that are starting right there in the palm of your hand. It'll include animation and other things as well. Uh, really interesting. And, and it takes time to get that right. It takes iterations to get it right. And as you receive some of those products, just like you see any other sort of software, you'll see version 1.0, but you've got to go for the next update revision. So we'll be feeding iterations out to you as we go in time. So it'll be kind of real time as you go. No different than the phone in your pocket or anything else you use. So we're becoming more of a technology company. And we're putting the investment into that as well. And that's been a transition. And it's well down the road. The My Patty Club idea is part of that mission we talk about enabling the adventure and exploration, but also keeping them in the diving space. Letting the reef call out to them, come dive me, because they set their settings. Tell me when the whale sharks are floating by, or tell me when the visibility and the temperature is just such on my favorite reef. It could be across the planet. It could be a, a local lake. And it, it'll buzz them through the power of, of technology to say, I'm ready for you to come dive me. The conditions are just what you wanted. Why don't you? And ultimately, we'll enable that, send them back to you to execute against that. So we're establishing a first of a kind in the dive space, global diver network, which will benefit divers. So the My Patty Club, and there are many seminars here. Please go to them. Provides, we're in our early days, provides tools, information, community support, and savings, incentives for people, since they're a club member, to redeem at your businesses to become lifelong divers and not take that passion and then disconnect and float away and become diving ambassadors tied to the mission, to one of those four pillars to become this force for good. Keep them in the channel so we can accomplish what we want to do across the planet for the ocean as an enabling brand and organization through your good efforts. So we're opening it all up to Patty Pros here at the DEMA show to come in, have a peek, think about it. So please try to go to one of those mini seminars, see what you think in its early days. And then the Ambassador Diver Program. I've mentioned a few, but just to speak to the point, just for a second, as we wind this down, our Patty Ambassador Divers are leading forces of changes in their community. We're really proud of that. We're telling their stories. We're, we're going to grow that program out. You could be a Patty Ambassador Diver. We just need to get your story out and as we grow that thing over the, the months and years to come. Ambassador divers embody the mission that I've, you've been so kind to listen intently to over the last few minutes on this pillar of change, to be this force for good. It's, it's amazing, actually. So if I could get this unruly mob up here to the stage, we've got a bunch of ambassador divers right here. Let's give it up for them. So these folks are doing amazing things. And some of them, I dare say, for decades have done really cool things. Some of you have seen in videos. These are rock stars. These embody 
every message I've put forward here today. But really, you should look at them and say, you should feel a kindred spirit of a Patty family, of a sense of brother and sisterhood with what they're doing, a connection, because it's there. Again, 7.6 billion, 25 million, 133,000. We got some work to do to get these stories and your stories amplified to draw people in to push against those four pillars and make a difference. So when you think about 50 years, Patty professionals, you folks here, have taught people to explore this planet in the undersea realm. That's going to continue long after we've all gone, for sure. That's the whole point. And as it continues, we will continue to grow. We're going to look at triumph over adversity, because there's a lot of headwinds, if you want to look at it that way, and times of hardship. Again, not an ideal world, but it's the world that we live in. So how do we manage through it? How do we manage forward? We're always going to be, and we're always going to strive to be the best in and best for the world if you believe that and you offer that locally, if you believe that. If you don't, then it will fragment. But I sense you do. I'm looking at this Patty family community here, in the round here today, knowing doggone well that there's a bar there, but you are so kind and attentive right now. I think it's touching your spirit somehow. And that just makes me proud to feel like we're on the right direction. And that's the power we have when tonight's over and we walk back out and we, we hit that show floor and then we go back to our corners of the earth and do something cool. So let's talk about the way the world learns to dive and let's think about more deeply as we go forward that we're always going to be the world the way the world learns to dive. And that's been the fact for a long time. And if we leave a nice footprint as an ancestor, those that go after us are going to carry that flag forward. That's a sense of self that supersedes what most humans have the opportunity to experience on this planet. And that, I think, should give you pause to think and dwell in and execute against and feel really cool about what you do and what you possibly can do going forward and energize yourself. So we're going to get the steel drum band to go in a second, but these guys have all rehearsed an amazing line, right? This is going to be the favorite thing you've heard from the stage tonight. We're going to say together that we are Patty and the bar is open. And we're going to shout that out. Now, if you're not loud enough, we might not open the bar. It's been a while since I've been in a bar fight, but we're willing to do that. So will you help the ambassador diver say, we are Patty, the bar is open? Yes? OK. Count of three. One, two, three. We are Patty. The bar is open. Thank you.